So how did you end up here with us in Phoenix? I live in Phoenix, and so what I did is I looked on your website looking for the closest place that I could go to have the national training, but mm -hmm. I wanted that, and a uh, longer training, I didn't want to just do, I think it's two days, I'm not quite sure, and so this is why I picked, I picked Phoenix, and fortunately, I'm from this area, so. Great. So how is the training going for you so far? It's, it's been a wonderful experience. Um, really, from the moment I walked in, it was a plenary, and I was listening to what was being said, and I just knew at that point, this is, this is what I was looking for. And part of the training, what I have really enjoyed is learning about the relationship between the facilitator and the client. And that has, it's put a different light on how hypnosis is portrayed, I think, in, not only to the public, but also for the clinician who's, who's doing it. So mm -hmm. I like the relationship. Mm -hmm. Great, great. And how do you see yourself using this as you transition back to home and your work environment, your um, training environment? My, my training and work environment right now. Um, I am fortunate enough to be able to go to a rotation at Duke University this summer, and so during the summer I'll be at the pain, their pain clinic and, and biofeedback, and so I'm really seeing it fitting in with this component, and I'm really excited to possibly, I won't right away ask if I can use it, <laughs> but maybe it's the second week. and using it during my training there and then coming back here and I'll be in a private practice as well as, as somewhere else that I'm hoping that I'll be allowed to really practice this and then I'd really like to continue, I want to do certification. Oh, how sure. lovely. So I really want to do it. Oh, that's wonderful. So. That's great to hear. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate your willingness to talk with us today. You're welcome.